does organic even mean? Nobody knows. That's that's actually not true. So the USDA uh, really has made this the gold standard for any type of labeling. And so you have two different tiers of organic. Uh, the first is basically organic, and that's going to be the seal on your food or your supplement or anything that says USDA certified organic. And what that means is that 95% of the raw material inputs in that product, except water and salt, are certified organic. And that certification is a process where farmers, producers, ranchers, they have to go through this verification process with the USDA. USDA comes out and audits them. And what they do is, is they basically verify that no pesticides, uh, no herbicides, no fungicides, nothing uh, toxic that we've deemed you know, non-organic has been applied to that farm or that ranch within the last three years. Um, now, that's a tough thing to do for a lot of farmers and ranchers. So that's one of the reasons that you see organic being such a higher price point in the market than you're just, you know, you know, look at organic mac and cheese versus regular mac and cheese. You know, there's oftentimes like a dollar differential, which on a low price point product like that, that's a significant amount of cost. Um, now, you also have a follow up kind of caveat to that is, is that you can say made with organic ingredients if 70 percent of the ingredients in that finished product are made with organic ingredients. Now, however, you don't get the USDA certified organic seal on that one. And so what consumers have to really recognize oftentimes is that they are paying for that 95 percent USDA certified. Um, but here's one of the things with organic. And, and I really want to get into this from the standpoint of regenerative. And this actually brings up my aunt. And, you know, I'm going to call her out on this. She was one of the original shoppers at like Whole Foods or those organic grocery stores. And I remember she'd come back with a grocery bill. Now, this is Colorado, like in the 80s, you know, with like a two and three hundred dollar grocery bill, which is, you know, in California now with inflation, that's like a thousand dollar grocery bill or half a visit to Costco. That was supposed to be funny. Good one. <laughs> yeah. It's my second dad joke. Uh, but organic doesn't necessarily mean healthy. And I think what we really have to do is educate consumers that just because it says organic doesn't mean it's healthy. Organic potato chips are still potato chips. And, and they are cooked in, you know, corn oils or vegetable oils that even though those oils are organic, they're still really bad for us. So even though we think about organic in the terms of healthy, it's not always. Now, the other thing is, is that organic... Uh, based off the USDA website, says that you have to, uh, you know, you have to apply soil health principles to organic, which includes tilling. And what we found in all of our research on regenerative agriculture is tilling is actually one of the worst things that you can do for the soil. That's what causes the erosion of the soil or the topsoil and gives us all of that dust bowl type of stuff that we're so adamant in preventing with regenerative agriculture. So organic, even though it really has set a precedent and is probably the industry leader in some of the things that we can look for for health, really needs to be modernized based off of our scientific understanding of what truly is healthy. Right. So it goes to show that if a label does say organic, it makes more sense to read the actual ingredients to know the quality of food that you're putting in your mouth. You know, it can say organic, of course, but it could be organic corn oil or whatever, right? Exactly. You want to know exactly what the ingredients are. So I think that's a huge, huge, valuable point there. Yeah. And now that's traditionally on, you know, your agriculture, your vegetables, things like that. Now, when we get into meat products, same thing, right? Now, that USDA certified organic beef, chicken, whatever, they have to be fed organic input materials, so organic crops, you know, whatever the case may be. So again, even though it's an organic beef product, it could be organic corn, exactly, right? or you know, whatever they. Yeah. yeah, and what we found, and we talked about this in a previous podcast, is that grain-fed cows had a omega six to omega three ratio that was just off the charts. So what we know is, is that when we feed cows grass, grass-fed, grass-finished cows, that omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is very healthy. So even though those cows are eating organic corn, yeah. it's still not a healthy food product. It's scary out there. Or I should say, you know, let, let me requalify that. It's not as healthy. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and, and so, you know, we, we definitely need to quantify some of those statements. So I, I apologize to the audience for being a little more flippant with my words. Right. So organic grass-fed would be... Grass-fed and grass-finished. Right. Would be the correct term. 